What's up dancers, this is Jam. And in this video, I'm gonna go over some hip hop fundamentals and we're gonna learn how to bounce and rock. Let's do it. Jam, jam, here comes the man, hot damn. So the bounce and the rock, in my opinion, are the two most important fundamental uh, concepts within uh, any style of street dance. And, I, and I, they're, to me, they're not moves, they're, they're more principles principles of movement that um, apply to whatever style that you're going to be doing. So you'll see that whether you're doing house or locking or hip hop or popping, there is some kind of rock and there is some kind of bounce within every style. And even to specific moves, there's always going to be some kind of bounce and some kind of rock involved in it. So what I'm teaching you today is just this is how I like to break down these movements and, and show how they're used within styles. There's a lot of um, other ways that they can be explained or different terminology that can be used, um, but this is the way that makes the most sense to me and this is how I like to teach it, okay? So the first thing to remember with bouncing and rocking is that there is a limited number of directions that you can go, okay? So when you're rocking, you're either gonna be rocking forward or backward or side to side, which is also back and forth. So it's always gonna be a back and forth motion. And then with your bounce, you're either gonna go up or you're gonna go down, okay? And then you can always add side to sides within it, but for the most part, it's either up or down, or forward or back, okay? So just remember that. So let's jump into the rock first, okay? So with the rock, we're really primarily using our upper body, okay? We're gonna be using our chest. Um, I'm gonna teach that to you first, and then we'll, I'll show you how to use your hips with it, okay? So within rocking, you can either do a forward rock, or you can do a back rock. And depending on what kind of style you're doing or what kind of move you're doing is gonna uh, dictate what kind of rock you're gonna be doing, okay? They're the same thing, but they're just two sides of the same coin. So let's go with the forward rock first. Now it's a forward rock because we're accenting the one first, okay? So that's something really important to remember. Whatever your one is, is going to be what your emphasis is. Whatever your one is, is going to be your accent, okay? So if we're gonna be doing a forward rock, then I'm gonna start on one, okay? Now, really easily, this is a rock, okay? Really simply, this is what we're doing when we're rocking, okay? Now, depending on what one you accent, whether it's one here or it's one, is gonna determine what kind of rock it is, okay? So, uh, just to break it down mechanically, all I'm doing is hinging at the hips and moving forward and back, forward and back, okay? So one and two and three and four, yeah, from the side, one and two and three and four, okay? And the emphasis again is on the one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So my emphasis on the whole count is going down which is a down or forward rock, okay? Now on the other side, it would be to the back. So if we start on one to the back, it would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? Accenting all the whole counts backwards, okay? So that is the forward and the back. Now with the rock, there is also a side to side that you can do as well. And um, it's the same principle, right? So I'm just gonna keep I'm keeping my hips kind of centered, keep my feet centered, not thinking about my feet. I'm thinking about my upper body and the way that it's rotating, right? So if I'm gonna go to the side, I can go side to side like this, and I'm just tilting. Tilting my body, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yeah? Or if I'm gonna go forward, one, two, three, four, or back, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now let's add in the hips. So the way the hips rock are gonna be very similar to the way you'd rock with your chest, okay? Um, and, and in the same directions. So if I wanna keep my chest centered and just focus on the hips, okay? So uh, back, rocking back with the hips would rock like this here. So all I'm doing is I'm pushing my hips back, back. I'm really focusing on using my lower body here to control my hips here, right? And then back, back or forward forward or side to side, okay? Now, you don't wanna just do that by itself, you wanna add them together. So if we're gonna rock with the upper body and the hips at the same time, then we would have 
this kind of motion here. So if I'm going forward and do forward rock, I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I want to go back, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then if I want to go side to side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so you'll notice that the hips are always going to go opposite of what the upper body is doing. So if I'm going to do a forward rock, with, uh, then my hips are going to go back because they go opposite of my upper body and vice versa, going this way or side to side, okay? So that's just the basic way to rock, okay? Just going forward or back or side to side. But um, the way that you would dance with it is you would start adding in other ways that you could manipulate your upper body. Yeah, so, so for example, I can do a forward rock, but I can rock it side to side. And I can do the same thing with a back rock going side to side, okay? I can also twist. I can still have my forward rock and twist my body, okay? So that, that's how you start playing with it. You would start freestyling and dancing with it and get creative with the basic principle of rocking and how you can change it um, depending on how you want to move, how the music is making you feel, right? So if the rock is primarily with your upper body and your hips, the bounce is going to be mostly with your legs and specifically your knees, okay? So let's just do the basic down bounce first, okay? So remember, you can bounce down and you can bounce up. So let's start with down. The emphasis is going to be on the one or the whole counts. And that's how you know you're going on the down beat, okay? So if I want to go, all I'm going to do is just bend my knees, come back up. Right? Really, really simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? So I'm focusing on the down first. That's what makes it a down bounce. One, going down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Now, vice versa, the up bounce, you're actually going to be starting from a bend because you're going to be going up. Right? So you have to start from a bend because you can't go more up than up, right? So you have to go here first. So it's actually going to be an and one, okay? And all I'm doing with my legs here is I'm extending back. And the way that I like to think about an up bounce is I think about my, um, kind of like my heel and the back of my knee um, straightening out. So really, really simply, I'll stay this way. It goes and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you see how my emphasis is up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and that is an up bounce. And again, just like the rock, when you're doing these bounces, you can also add 
your side to sides, right? And, and so the basic principle is just the bounce, but how you get creative with the bounce, right, is what you do with your feet, what you do, you know, you can add your hips, right? And, and that's what is gonna change the bounce for you and make it creative. So I'm teaching these things separate, but realistically, both of these concepts go together. Um, and you'll feel it as you do it, you, you'll start to do both of them at the same time naturally, okay? So, um, let's, so let's mesh them together. So uh, we're gonna take our downs first. So our downs, our down rock, where we're going forward, or your forward rock, okay? And bouncing down at the same time, right? So we're gonna blend those together. So if we do this rock and the bounce, it looks something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So I'm, I'm rocking like this and I'm bouncing down at the same time, right? Now it's kind of boring to just sit here, right? This is good, this is good for you to practice if this is new to you, but if you want to start developing it, this is where you start playing with where you're going to put your feet, how you're gonna switch your body, right? While still keeping that rock and that bounce the whole time, okay? Now let's do the other one, let's go up. So we're gonna do a back rock and an up bounce at the same time, okay? So we start with our rock, going back. One, two, three, four, and then I have the bounce. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. So you see, I'm keeping this here, so I'm bouncing up, but I'm also, with my upper body, I'm rocking back, back like this. Just like that. So if you learn, if you are familiar with, um, you know, multiple different street styles, you'll see how these bounces and these rocks apply to these different styles. So in hip hop, for the most part, not all the time, but for the most part, you're going to be going down down into the bass, down into the beat. So a lot of times your bounce is gonna be down and your rock is gonna be forward, right? Versus in locking, your locking is always on an up groove, right? So you're always gonna be rocking up this way, grooving back and bouncing up with your feet. And that's how that style is kind of glued together. And so you'll see even in house, in house, there's a lot of down, a lot of down and forward in house. But you can also you can also rock back in house. So it, it, depending on how you want to approach the style that you're doing, you'll be using all of the different types of rocks and bounces, and that's how you're going to explore and get creative with your own style within each of these different styles. <laughs> Thank you so much for checking out this hip hop dance tutorial. If this helped you at all, then please give me a like and as well as leave me a comment, let me know your feedback on this video and any other tutorials you'd like to see in the future. If you want in-depth training, then be sure to check out the membership that I have here on YouTube. You can click that little join button or the link in the description. You'll get access to all the classes that I have available as well as video critiques for me to help you on your dance journey. If you like this kind of content, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click the bell 
so you always get notified when I drop a new tutorial, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.